Just a clip here. I uh, stopped at this place for lunch. I'm in Canaan, Vermont, which uh, over there is Vermont or uh, New Hampshire, which is pretty cool. But, uh, I just want to give you an idea of what it's like out here. This guy across the street is rocking out. Hey, John, call if he's going your way. I'm pretty sure every uh, every man in this town is actually at the bar that I was just at. Because uh, <laughs> it's, it's full of large bearded men, like you'd expect. Thursday afternoon in Vermont. Hey guys, uh, checking in from the woods between 1st Connecticut Lake and 2nd Connecticut Lake in New Hampshire. So I'm stopping here because I'm not sure there's going to be another good point. Um, but I wanted to take this video, at least this turns into found footage, at least uh, there's going to be some continuity. It's going to make some sort of sense. So the people at, uh, never mind, let me back up. So my original plan is to get to Maine from Vermont. I had breakfast in Vermont on the border of New Hampshire. Currently I'm in New Hampshire. Uh, originally looking at the map, and you'll understand when I post pictures of the map, uh, I thought I was going to have to backtrack a half hour back into Vermont and then get back on another road and go over to Maine. Only because there are there's like one road up here. Right now I'm on Route 3. Route 3 go goes to Canada and that is it. Uh, yeah, not a lot going on. And when you see the map, I mean, there's some lakes, but other than that, there's, there's really not many roads. Um, I was describing this plan and also making reservations at a place called Rangeley in Maine. Uh, seems to be like an hour and a half, two hours from the place I was at in Vermont. Um, and I was talking to the people next to me and this guy said that there is a road that's not really marked uh, called McGalloway that goes along the north end of First Connecticut Lake and goes right into Maine. Um, so I am about a mile from McGalloway. It is apparently a like 20 mile dirt logging road uh, where they're actively logging, apparently, according to the woman at the uh, general goods store that I just stopped at. She said, if it's recently graded, just turn around because your tires are gonna pop and B, get out of the way for logging trucks because they will not slow down. So uh, great advice. I'm glad I asked people these things. Um, yeah, but either way, it's a nice dry day. I've got four wheel drive. And man, if I get to drive in the woods for 20 miles to get to Maine, that is exactly why I'm up here. So uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully I don't end up uh, lost in the woods or stuck in the woods or whatever, but fuck it, it's an adventure. Let's go. Just for uh, posterity, that's the road I was just on. This is McGalloway. It's uh. He's going Magallo that way. I'm going to have to say that doesn't look recently graded. So uh, let's see how this goes. Just have to say that uh, when I was planning to come up here, this was exactly the sort of reason why. Dirt roads. I've got evergreen trees. I've got mountains. Half the reason why I bought this Bronco to be able to do stuff like this, and I'll tell you, it is paying off right now. Check in from Maine. I know I shouldn't be filming while I'm driving, but I mean, seriously, how do you beat this? You can't. You got 8.5 miles to go, and uh. I kind of want to turn around and do it again because this is awesome. <laughs> All right, check in from Maine. It's the funniest thing to me. I, uh, I've hit the point of the road where it just stops. The border apparently stops too. I have no signal. It's just, yeah, Lewis and Clark in it out here. Kind of hard to screw up though when it's uh, like one road. Plus there's like a bunch of hunters out here, so I'd be all right. We uh, shall see. Off into the wilderness.
Okay, next on the uh, tour de hotels, we are in the Rangeley Inn tonight, which is beautiful. I will post a picture of the outside. It is super nice. Pretty much what you'd expect. Oh, is that a microwave? No. Hmm. There is a uh, tavern connected, which is good. I had to throw out my uh, my Stouffer's macaroni and cheese because it um, <laughs> it's just been in my cooler for a couple days without any ice. Pretty disappointing, but check out that view. Check out that view without blinds in the way. There's my car. Beautiful view of lake something. And not the other way, the left, there's another view of the uh, continuation of Lake Something. So, tomorrow's going to be a good day of checking that out. Tonight's going to be a good night of uh, going to find some food because I'm starving to death. Check in later. How many times do you think this happened before they put up this sign? <laughs> That's a new one. All right, so my hotel is back there. I walked down a little bit. The town is over in that direction. I'll post a couple pictures of that. It's a nice little small town, Main Street. And uh, I mean this. I don't know what you think about when you think about Maine, but this is what I expected. And it's beautiful. See all the way out there, there's a mountain. It's the sort of thing I just see, and it's like, that's calling my name. It's like, what mountain is that? How far is it? Can I climb it? <clears throat> What's the view look like from up there looking back at me here? Beautiful. I, uh, looking forward to seeing what Maine has to offer. I'll let you know. How am I getting Fetterman commercials up here in Maine? It's ridiculous. Okay, so I am here in Rangeley. I am just sitting outside the uh, hotel I just checked out. Um, and a beautiful morning on the lake. I mean, lakes and mountains. That is why I came here, and it is spot on. Um, so I'm right now uh, here, down at the bottom there. And uh, I'm going to be taking Route 4 there. Because Route 4 goes from here to uh, Bangor. Or Bangor? I, I don't know. I feel like I say it wrong every single time. Um, but I was talking to the woman at the front desk, and I asked her what there might be of note between here and there. Shit. She, uh... She said, a place called Farmington has some food, but apparently not much else going on, so I might stop there for some food, depending on how it goes. But uh, apparently there's a place down here. If I just continue around, and I think it even says it somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Um, I'm, I'm done messing around with the wind. The uh, It's a place called Smalls Falls. So, I mean, I'm sold just because the name is Smalls Falls, and that's that's awesome. Um, so that's in that direction. I'm, uh, just getting ready to depart. Head out in a second. I will let you know how the falls go. Then I'm going to head out to Bangor. So actually, before I hang up, the, uh, the issue that I'm running into now or considering is that, I mean, it's Friday, which means there's going to be, or like people don't have work and they could potentially be at Acadia State Park. I wasn't thinking about, like, I didn't plan around getting here on the weekend, which was stupid of me, and I'm kind of annoyed at myself for it. Um, but when I talked to the woman at the front desk, she said all the tourists were gone, so I, I'd probably be all right going on the weekend anyway. So, I don't know. We shall see. I'm going to drive to Bangor, see how it goes. If it was a really easy drive, I mean, it's about two hours and 15 minutes, and I can't imagine there's going to be a ton of stuff in between. Um, I look like a seagull. 
I haven't seen one of those around here. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Head out there and, you know, I either, I'm in a good staging point for hitting Acadia tomorrow. I'm going to walk around the city a little bit. Or if it's packed and people say like, oh, wait till Monday, then I'm going to drive up to Caribou tomorrow. And, uh, because that's on the list. And I, I, I mean, I wanted to hit it. Kind of makes sense to hit first and come back around the coast. Uh, yeah, so we're going to play it by ear and see how it goes. I'll let you know. Okay, so the road I was on is up there. I uh, turned off into this random unmarked thing. Uh, there's a road. I don't necessarily know where it goes. The road was not on my GPS. Um, but the GPS said that the falls were right around here and there seemed to be a place to park. It's nice. Um, it is beautiful out here. First and foremost, as you'd expect, I mean, some ASMR right there. Uh, yeah, beautiful. But I don't see the falls, actually. Huh. Okay. So, right there, I mean, it's not great on the camera. It does look like it drops off. Um, Let's do some exploring. I'm not seeing a good way to get down there. I am going to get down there though. Let's see. Go up here. Yeah, see, I mean, like, there's, there's no real stopping point other than where I was at. And she said it was, you went up a hill and then you came down a hill. And there's that hill that I came down. Um, huh. I might drive up a little bit further and see if I just maybe missed it. But, or not missed it, but just haven't arrived there yet. I'm convinced it's right down there though. It really does. It really looks like it's right there. I mean, you're not going to be able to tell from this. But All right, give me a second. I'm going to I'm going to find a way down there. Okay, so there's the bridge. I uh just kind of climbed through all that brush. I'm over here now. Uh And I am I'm convinced. You could just see it just stops and goes right over. And you can even see goes right over there too with this in the middle I can get a good view from it's looking like the winter but of course it's covered in a uh, dry leaves so I'm gonna slip on them as soon as I jump on that rock uh, I got to figure out a way to either get onto that rock points that might be not too bad I bet I could do that and just walk over the other side like right there or right there I mean my shoes are waterproof but I'm not trying to deal with that all right I'll let you know what I uh, do but I'm gonna get over there somehow all right, this doesn't look very far, but I, I'm proud of myself for being able to jump that. Uh, especially landing on these rocks on the other side. That could have gone very poorly, but it didn't. And here I am, holy shit, and it was worth it. Woo -hoo -hoo. Smalls Falls indeed. Check that out. That's awesome. Oh man, I wanna jump. I wanna jump into that so badly. Except it's cold. Not as cold as you'd expect. I felt the water in the lake yesterday, but I mean, come on. That's awesome. Man, you come out here and just hang out with some friends in the summer, do a little bit of cliff jumping. It's probably deep enough. It looks deep enough. You can see some rocks under there you can't see from the camera, but uh, that's, that's real dark compared to the rest of it. I, I think you'd be all right. And if not, like you could just you could just sit in there, hang out in the waterfall. Man, I love this. 
type of thing that wasn't easy to get to. There's the bridge back there. So, I mean, it, it would limit the amount of people that come out here. Maybe not in Maine, because these people are hardy, but uh, Pennsylvania it certainly would. Can't get your uh, mobility scooter out here. All right, now to see the other Smalls Falls. Shit. Also, these are, I, I know nobody cares about rocks like me, but uh, that's some cool rocks. I don't know what exactly they are. They, because of all the pores and things, you can just see the amount of bubbles which makes me think of volcanic rock. I'm sure you're all very interested to hear about that. All right, it gets pretty steep there. And I don't wanna fall off this rock, mainly because like, I think I'd be all right, but like, what the fuck am I getting back out of here if I do? Um, that'd be really unfortunate. I'd be climbing up somewhere down there and then walking back. Uh, but here you go, here's the other side of the falls. Goes down that way. I, I, I'm not going to get closer. Goes down around that way and comes out the other side. Beautiful. I mean, come on. Oh shit! I need to go down for this. Uh, all right, jumping on rocks. A little tree. You just sit on that branch and have lunch. No, you couldn't. Because how the fuck are you getting back up again? Uh, whatever. You'd be perfectly fine hanging out in this one. You could climb up somewhere over here or over there. I don't know why you try this side. That side's real easy. Man. Solid recommendation, woman at the front desk. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Uh... The one issue right now is that I have no signal where I'm at. I did check the map earlier and uh, it seems like Route 4 just goes all the way to Bangor. And uh, yeah, I also have a paper map that I'm gonna consult before I head out, but that's probably the next spot on the list. Let you know if I see anything else cool. Okay, so I've just arrived in Bangor, and uh, this is the lovely view out of my hotel. Um, I'll give you the tour in just a second. I need to start by saying that this hotel for one night uh, costs more than all of the hotels that I've stayed in so far combined, which is ridiculous. But it is a Friday night in the most populated city, and at least as far as I know. And uh, I am right on the edge of town downtown. I'm going to go walk around that in a minute. And I'm across from a, a casino and a river. So it's like the place to be. Uh, and yeah, so I spend a lot of money. But I need to stay at like another Super 8 somewhere with some more roaches. Uh, but the room itself, man. All right. It's a two queen beds. Normal. But I mean, like, this place is gigantic. Look at this. Yeah, this whole thing, of course, you've got, what would you expect? Boats in gray water and lobsters. That's what I think of when I think of Maine. Uh, I mean, like, look at this. They have a full refrigerator. Just, you could just straight live here. That's ridiculous. I've lived in apartments significantly smaller and worse than this place. Never. No. 329 night though, shit. All right, what do we got going on in here? All right, downside though, there's no tub, it's just a shower. Fancy ass shower, how do I open the hole? Look at that. What? It's curved, that's why it's interesting to me. I obviously have seen sliding shower doors before. All right, well, uh, yeah. It's like the size of my, my kitchen at home. <laughs> all right so there you go tour to hotels part uh four i guess yeah let you know what i see around town hey i also just need to say real quick that i could have stayed at the casino it's right across the street probably has a better view of the video uh, of the river um just not a good place for me to go i need to keep moving not uh lose all my money and party in maine mm. Gotta be smart about these things. 
I'll be honest, I'm walking down the uh, main street right now and it kind of sucks. It's like a McDonald's and a Tim Hortons. Some auto places, like, the guy at the hotel was like, yeah, we got some quaint little shops, ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, all right, man. Because it was referring to Seasons Grill and Lounge, or, <laughs> I don't even know. Not, uh, not impressed by this. Not sure what river this is, but it's a lot nicer than being up on that main street, let me tell you. I also, uh, that's not chained off, and I kind of want to go down there. I always wonder what the legality is. Like, that says boat owners only beyond this point, but that's, uh, it's not hanging up. It's on the side. I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, take a little trip down there. But it is a beautiful day here. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what else there is to see, but I'm gonna walk around, go find some food, and uh, yeah, so far so good. Perfect day for it, if nothing else. I gotta say, it'd probably be pretty awesome to uh, shoot a wooden ship with a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. It'd be cool as hell. I just need to say real quick before I forget, um, I'm not sure whether it's just an abundance of travelers or homeless people. I, it doesn't feel like homeless people. But the amount of people around here just with large backpacks, like hanging out in the park, it's a lot of them. A whole lot of them. And like every other person that's been walking around out here has been wearing a backpack. And they don't... <laughs> no, they don't look like me traveling around. They look like they're just... Um, with their bag. I don't know. Here it's homeless nuzzards. Travelers. Fuck, I apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently went the wrong way and now I'm stuck on a one way route. Whatever, we're gonna climb down this hill. Just needed to point that out. Uh, it's nothing feels unsafe. It doesn't, they don't, it, the people don't even look like drug addicts or whatever you'd expect. Crackheads. I don't know. I hate saying that. Um, but they don't. They look fairly normal. It's just there's so many of them. I, I don't understand. Uh, yeah. Interesting observation. Glad I came up here. Or uh, accidentally came up here. Hey, there was a little path. That's where I went down. I, I thought I was going to come out here. Um, nice view. I'm up here. See the bridge over into that is Brewer. And I only know that because uh, there's a Walgreens over there that I got to go to tomorrow. Um, that is not my hotel. That is the casino. My hotel is like right there. Uh, just across the street from there. So yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's a city. And we, but there's not much else to say. I, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. You never know what the level of uh, the city is going to be. But um, it's a city. So we'll let you know what else I see. All right, another thing just since I'm walking another like two miles back to the hotel. Um, something I've noticed just being in the rural areas, uh, including upstate New York and Vermont and New Hampshire. I mean, New Hampshire, I didn't really see a whole lot. I love towns. Um, I mainly just drove through the woods. But um, like, like I've spent a lot of time driving around Pennsylvania. Rural Pennsylvania is dilapidated and sad. Uh, Philly homeless people are violent, screaming, like it's eh, not a good, not a good situation. I just, it made me laugh because I'm like, even the homeless people here are less dilapidated than in Philly. The houses that cost $50,000 and have outhouses are nice as hell, have like fresh paint and shit. I, I don't know, all the roads are nice for the three people who drive on them. I don't know. It's uh, it's really highlighting to me just how bad of a job Pennsylvania does taking care of everything between Philly and Pittsburgh. It's uh, it's honestly embarrassing. Uh, like if these people drive down there and they think they're gonna get the same situation, like no, <laughs> run down houses and shit. Uh, and not to say that there aren't any of those out here. Like there's uh, 
I have some trailers and whatnot that are falling apart. And if the people just have a whole bunch of shit out in front of their house. So that's what you do, I guess, when you have a land. Just put all your stuff out there. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's been interesting. But rural Pennsylvania is by far the uh, most dilapidated and just sad area I've been to in the past couple years. So, ugh, unfortunate. Let you know what other thoughts I come up with. All right, so that's the uh, casino again. That's the church I took some pictures of earlier from across the river. Uh, I climbed up into like this construction zone because there weren't any signs telling me I wasn't allowed to. Uh, not a bad view from up here. I mean, honestly, I've just been trying to get a good picture of the, the bridge without all the trees in the way and where you can actually see the bridge, you know, like two miles down. But that's the best that we're gonna do. Notice the uh, tent down in the bottom right corner a couple seconds ago. Because there definitely are people just living out here. I saw some footsteps on here as I was walking up. Keep my eyes open. Don't want to fall in that pit either. Yeah, um, uh, with this, I'm pretty satisfied with walking around Bangor. There's limited things to see, I will say. Uh, I, I can't say I have been impressed. It just, so far, it just strikes me as a city and everything's expensive. I haven't been able to find any good food. So I'm gonna end up eating at the hotel restaurant, which looks expensive, I'm sure. This one, <laughs> whatever, 19 hours in fucking Bangor is gonna cost me $500. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can avoid that, but if I see anything else that's cool or I get arrested for fucking around up here, I'll let you know. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but like I thought it was coming out of the electrical socket. Listen to this. I mean, I guess it's just pipes, but... Can't hear it from that side. Can't hear it from the bathroom with the pipes. <clears throat> huh. Just uh, something to note. Okay, maybe this is uh, just me being uncultured and everyone else is aware of these things, but this is the coolest damn thing to make. Look at this table. It only has two legs. So you can, no well, fuck, I guess not. But it's already under there a little bit. So you can pull it out a little bit if you wanted to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and show it off. Oh, see so you're sitting here, there's the couch. Boom. Look at this. Comes right up. You know, what the hell? How have I never seen this before? I, uh, I know what I'm buying when I get home. That's awesome. Okay, it's about 12.30 on a Friday night. It's the Hollywood Casino. Bangor, Maine. I don't know what I expected. Uh, it's the same cop twice. Guy just driving around the block. Um, yeah, I guess I expected it to be a little livelier. Again, not impressed. Just needed to show you guys. <laughs> 